Cynthia Shepard. I am an art director for Magic the Gathering, and I've been working uh, in the field of fantasy illustration for about 10 years prior to becoming an art director. A um, little bit of concept art here and there, a lot of uh, game illustrations, book, um, sort of those genres, a lot of print media. The judging's going really well so far. Um, there is a ton of, of just interesting stuff and just all the different styles that are out there. Uh, you know, I try to judge each piece individually on is it successful in its own style and what it's trying to get across. You know, is it technically brilliant in its own way? And just the, the diversity of styles is really, really striking. I've definitely noticed some thematic elements that evolved throughout the past few years. There's just more of it now. Things like certain textures being used as, as background elements or, you know, the pretty girl juxtaposed against the weird kind of textural backdrop. Like there's, there's just a lot more of that than I'm used to seeing and, and a lot of artists that you, you kind of see a little bit of other artists in each one. You don't know who studied with who maybe or who's just been looking at some of the more popular work that's been emerging. But it's really interesting to see those themes develop. Uh, I mean, technique is, is a big one too. Uh, you know, I see it as an art director when, when people submit their portfolios for, for review, you know, you start getting a whole lot of the same, like, oh, you know, photo bashing, really, really in this year. It's definitely something that a lot of people are doing, so maybe a lot more people are looking for it. Uh, it's just one example of many, but new techniques emerge, and then all of a sudden everyone's doing them. Chromatic aberration, the lens flare of 2011, <laughs> or, or whatever, that, that started to take over, and now I see less of it, so things come in and die off. I mean, I love being an art director because a lot of it is kind of being a proud parent, you know, when a good piece of art comes in, you're like, yes, you get that sense of satisfaction that something you contributed to and asked someone to do has come back and it's beautiful or it fulfills all of the, the desires and it's going to go out into the world as part of a really brilliant product. And the more of that you can do, the more, you know, matching the right job to the right person, the more you get that. And it's very fulfilling to me in that sense. Uh, and also just being a part of something larger than yourself. There's all these uh, pushes nowadays for individuals to create their own properties and everything. And that's great. There's a lot that an individual artist can bring to the table, but there's also just a special feeling when you are contributing to something larger than yourself, you know, and hundreds of artists put their time and effort into Magic the Gathering and it shows, I mean, it shows like as a combined effort of so many people, it's just fantastic. My grandfather bought me a copy of Spectrum uh, 4 when I was 14 for my birthday, and since then I've started collecting it, and it's become a part of my life. Um, started getting into the book around Spectrum 15, and uh, this is sort of a full circle moment for me kept coming in to judge, finally. It's something I've actually wanted to do, and it was a real pleasure to be asked. Uh, but, you know, Spectrum continues to be uh, one of the best tools I have now as an art director, and we have as a collective... Uh, group of people as a, as a community to just sort of showcase what's been going on every year, check out trends, check out new faces, check out what, what people who've been in the industry for a long time have been doing, and, and just really catch up. It's, it's the yearbook for our industry, right? So it's really, it's an awesome publication.